Let me ask you this, because I know back in the day, in my time, when I was a doorman, yeah. we had scams going. You guys got scams, don't you? <laughs> you guys have scams going? <laughs> I got the key and I threw it right back. Oh. Open but, but, it up. Right. You know, tell me what they are, but are there? I wouldn't call them scams. I'll tell you what. Yesterday <laughs> I was so working. So <laughs> no, this is real. He's I was so working. A, uh, we call them tips now, okay? okay. We get ah, tips. Yeah. And uh, someone came up. I was working the OR cover last night. Yeah. And so we go, are you, are you jet ski? And I said, yeah. I love you on Bad Friends. Fuck yeah. Takes out a 20, puts it in the tip bucket. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. You should just put a bucket out that says jet ski on Bad Friends. <laughs> yes. Wait, 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 you have to split the fucking 20 with other people? I don't know if I have to, but I did. She's a good soul. Wow. <laughs> She's a good soul. Get your own bucket. <laughs> no, we split it. You do? Yeah, yeah. No, they have to, man. Oh, they That's do? That, because, because otherwise, then, you know what used to happen? Because I know. I'm not snitching because they, they all got in trouble. You remember when everyone got in trouble. People yeah. were pocketing money and then wars started to break out because yeah. people were like, you're keeping money and you're not putting it in the pool. This is the same at a restaurant. If you work at a restaurant and you, put, and you pool tips, some people don't put in, then it causes all this fight and turmoil and then they I don't think they should the pool tips. I well, think I think well, you have to tip people some, out though. Some doormen are just better than others. Okay. All right. And so whoever gets, you can't just because I know a couple of chinless fuckers that you have as friends over there. They don't do as good of a job. <laughs> and I don't want to name names, but they have no chins, man. All right. <laughs> Literally don't. Bobby hit me up and goes, "Who's your friend with no chin at the store?" <laughs> yeah. I don't know who you're talking about. I like that kid. I, I've been listening. So you think no, no tipping, no fucking pooling tips. No. I got I got a gripe real fast to put out. I'm not going to call out the place. Okay. I don't care. I don't fucking like it when they include the tip already on the check. So Why? like Why? it was it was pre-included for 18%. I'll tell you, there's multiple reasons. Okay. One, it gives the server no incentive to give you a better experience whatsoever. They don't fucking care. They're going to get their money no matter what. That's bullshit. Two, 18% is automatically included. And then there was a note that said below it, we do this for the health and well-being of our staff and our workers to provide a better living wage for blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Why is it on me, motherfucker? It should be on your company to pay people better then. Don't just automatically take my fucking money. That's bullshit. If you wanted to fucking provide a better life for them, you should pay them more. And then on top of it, the biggest uh, blunder is you automatically charge 18. Well, then I'm done. I'm going to do the Apple Pay and walk away. When I was going to give that person 20, 25, I've tipped 30%. You've tipped nothing probably to as well. Huh? You probably tipped nothing. I've literally never once fucked someone over on a tip because I worked in restaurants. But my point is, you're <laughs> fucking them out of two more percent. Why would you do that? That's, I was going to give them the you, extra two. That's what you say. Huh? Nothing. I've never <laughs> fucked someone out of a tip. That's fine. I've always over tipped. Um, you could leave more. No, but I don't because because I I think the system is bullshit. I like that. I like that. Fuck that. What yeah. do you think they should just raise the prices on all their food? No, it, it, the place was already a fucking ripoff. That's what's even more gross. All this says to me is the people that own it and run it are making way more fucking money. I see. And they're like, oh, we want to help the workers have a better wage. You don't have to, Juice. You don't have to agree. Bullshit. You don't have to agree. <laughs> I think so, including tip is can, bullshit. There are times where you can say, no, I don't agree. Oh, yeah. Like when so, I said, I'm not sure about the name Juicy. <laughs> we all, yeah, we <laughs> killed, we killed her. We chastised her. Uh, 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 we all that. saw how that went. I don't think tips should be fucking included. You think tips should be included? <laughs> it's their loss, though. Let me, can I just. That's make, my point. Is I was going to give you 20. Now you got 18. Can I make an argument, though, right? Go ahead. To me, it's I always pick 25%, right? Yeah. But when I see the 18% thing, right, I go. All right, well, I'm just going to give you that then. Uh, that's my point. So I'm saying don't do it's that. It's their loss. What the fuck does that have anything to do with you, bro? I don't like someone automatically charging my car. They charge your car. But if you're already tipping up well above 18% anyway. I'm saying you're an idiot. You guys were going to get more money. You're fucking your own people. Right, but it's not anger We're saying the part. same thing. I'm annoyed. What are you that angry about, though? That's the thing. It's coming, it's coming from anger. Because you should. It's actually, and you know what? It's technically illegal. That's the point. Oh, it, I, this. Why is white? Why are white people so entitled? No, no. Because you could go. Okay, you could, crazy. You, you could go. Hey, I want the manager to take this off, and they would. And then I would. I, what I should have done is said, "Take this off. I don't agree with this principle." And then I would have given her twenty five percent instead. And the reason why that's there, dude, is because sometimes they get European that time out. I talked. Can I, I finish? I know that's what, you're what white say. people do. They fucking, they fucking cut off. Don't do a race thing. I'm not don't doing do a race, race thing. thing. You know, you say a lot of foreigners come here and they don't think they have to tip. Yeah, they do. It's 2022. Everybody from Europe knows you tip over here. I just ran into fucking people from. If you have enough money to come to the United from, States I just on an ran airplane, into people from you know that you got to tip. And they're like, my, you know, this tipping thing's crazy, right? And I go, 
I know, but they're like, we don't even know how to do it, mate. Fucking you know bullshit. I mean? Who are these pikeys that you... No, how do they afford to get to the United States, <laughs> don't you liar? Don't call pikeys. Now listen, <laughs> now listen, okay. Everybody it's knows. It's just something that you're angry when about. When you came here from the Philippines, you know that Americans tip. No. <laughs> Thank you. It's a fact. It is true. It is true. No, it's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. But by the way, you're right. I Look, I did tip her. Like, the 18 was included. Yeah, you and had the, to. Well, no, no, no. And then I left a $10 bill on top yeah. of it to supplement the, the percentage that was missing. But I was like... Don't do that. That's fucking annoying. Let me give this person a gift on my own. I don't need you to like, and the other argument would be, oh, well, what about people that like go in and they under tip or they don't tip at all? First of all, at a place that th that is this nice, doesn't happen. This isn't Chili's. I used to work at- This isn't fucking Outback. I used to this work- This was a high-end restaurant. I used to work at the Brockton Villa. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bring it up. All right. It's a fucking restaurant in La Jolla. Yeah. Okay. And I was one of the first original night servers. They were only a breakfast place, right? I worked at the Brockton Villa. Ooh. Well, that's your problem now. It's breakfast beautiful. place that has night service? It's right, it's right on the cove, right? Oh, beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at the okay. ocean. Okay, you were a night server. So I was, and day server. I did the morning, right? So one yeah. morning I was there, I was slammed. I had table, I had the front patio, mm -hmm. right? Which is like the most. Section two, dude. That's the most fucking hardcore section. I have a, <laughs> I have a shore family. Um, Story about the Brockton Villa. I don't know if I should talk about. Yeah, it. you should. Uh, but I'm gonna get in trouble. We hung up our Polly stuff. I love Polly. <laughs> also, Polly's coming on this show in a couple of weeks. Good. We're having him on. That's why I'll, I'll save this story for when he he's, he's here. But my point is, is that I had a table. And it was I don't want to name the race of the people. It has nothing to do with anything. Oh, it doesn't. No. Why, <laughs> why did you would, mention? Yeah, it? why would you bring it up? Then? <laughs> so, why would you mention it then? Because it wasn't white people. That's all I have to say. It wasn't a white person. It was a table of ten. Right? And I remember being slammed. Yeah. Slammed. Dude. Crushed. What do you mean? Crushed, slammed. Overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Overwhelmed. Yeah. With, with mostly whites? No. It was, a, it was a mix. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Uh -huh. Okay. What is your attitude right now? No, why were you mentioning? You mentioned the race. I'm just digging to find out what race they were because you were the one that was so adamant right. about. What were they? At the time, in this specific story, they were Persians. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just curious. You brought it up. And the, the bill was like four hundred dollars, bro. Right, bro. Yeah. How four hundred? <laughs> <laughs> right. How? how? Tell me how four hundred. Uh, uh, yeah. And I, they left me a penny. <gasps> One cent. A physical penny? Yes. Or a written on the chat? Or a written no, on the bill? They put physical a penny, penny in the black thing. Pretty tight. Right. Very. Funny. And they said the service was terrible. Was it? I was slammed. I know, but was it? I don't know. That's the be Eye of the Beholder. Eye of the Beholder. <laughs> <laughs> That's the restaurant we should have gone to, Eye of the Beholder, in Glendale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So wait a minute. Yeah. They left you one physical penny. Yeah, and I remember Damn. going, that's why I tip so extravagantly, because I, I, even if the service is terrible, uh, yeah. it's just a terrible I feeling. always tip, I always tip right. I just, I never, I never will fuck people over because I worked in a restaurant, but I'm just saying, I guess the, what we're both saying is that the reason that they do this on bills is because of Persian people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So Persian people, it's all your fault. Tipping in cafe restaurants, cafes in Iran is mostly not done or expected. But See, that's what welcome. I'm saying. So in Iran, they don't. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that's why but I they, wish at from, that time my restaurant had an 18% fucking thing in the fucking thing. But you were a bad server. I was slammed and I don't think I was that bad. I was being funny. <laughs> all right, I'm a person yeah, yeah, yeah. guy. You just put down some food, all right? Yeah, yeah. Here you go. You're you're slammed, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, this food is late and cold. I push I push pancake. It's cold. I push it too, bud. <laughs> I don't know. Not your fingers are on pancake. Why would your fingers be pancake? I was doing a comedy bit. I no, just... give me a new pancake. You I'll get you a new one, all right? I'll... Uh, all will, right. will this one take 45 minutes? Yeah. But watch, I'll take the two and I'll put it on my eyes. I go, look, I'm googly. I don't know. <laughs> I want to talk to your manager. <laughs> I don't know what to do. And you walk away and they're like, we're definitely going to leave that Chinese guy a penny. Yeah. <laughs> that was you? That's what you did? You pancake fakes? Yeah. The, I think, <laughs> yeah. I think my problem is, is that whenever I, and uh, they complained about it all the time, my thumb was always in the food. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> your thumbs too? No, because when I'm carrying it, right? I, that's <laughs> the, that's Show I'm your thumbs to the camera. I, Look yeah. at those things. If yeah. we can zoom, punch in <laughs> on that. Don't punch in my thumbs. No, please. I'm so self-conscious <laughs> of it. Well, that's my why. My thumbs would be in the fucking plate, right? Whoa. And I would, and then they'd be like, yeah, why is your thumbs in my scrambled eggs? Yuck. Oh you know what I mean? Hundred percent yuck. Okay, well, I got fucked all the time. By the way, you want to talk about getting fucked on tips? I got fucked constantly in college. I worked at a wing place. We had we had ten cent wings. How much? How many fucking tips do you think I got? Oh, nothing. Ten cents. Terrible. I want one barbecue and one honey mustard. 
two wings? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. And I go, sir, Fucking we have a terrible. minimum of uh, we have a minimum of a half a dozen, a minimum of six. So sixty cents minimum, and you got to <laughs> and you have to buy a drink, a lemonade if you don't want a, a cocktail. And they go, I don't want it. Let me talk to your manager. Like, I, yeah, I mean, bring them over. They would literally, I would got change Thursday, for whatever it was, Wednesday nights. I'd have change. Yeah, I know. I'd walk home. <laughs> I'd have three dollars in fucking nickels in my pocket. Yeah, I know comics that did comedy way early, so they never had a day job, and their attitudes are like just whack. What do you mean? They're just, they don't know what it's like oh, to, to have work, a shitty job. Right? Oh, yeah. It's like, you know, it's like you and I, I like, I didn't make it until like my, my, my 30s. We still haven't made it, really. I know, exactly. We're still kind of going We're still kind of struggling up there, you know what I <laughs> mean? But my point is, is that. Um, still kind of drudging through it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm no. so glad I had those experiences because well, there that's was why years and years of like, how am I fucking going to pay rent? Because she said to me something. I don't know if I can say that. Well, no, it wasn't that private. But you said, you were like, I, I feel like. I'm about to get out of whatever situation I'm in. And you're like, I feel like I'm about to get to a new level. Yeah. Both professionally and personally. And I thought that was a good, that made me feel good in my heart. Cause I was like, I really hope you do. Cause I know you work super fucking hard and you're very funny. And I could tell her, her self deprecation was on a high when we walked by her and she's <sighs> pulling out a trash can out of the main room. And, and I, and she, and I was like, Hey, and she goes, hi. She goes, really knocked me right back down to earth. And she was dragging a trash can through the hallway. And I was like, <laughs> you're not going to be doing that for long. I hope not. No, you, you're do not. Do you have a commercial agent? Uh-uh. Why? Uh, I'm going to skip that step. Go straight to movie. Hell yeah, bitch. <laughs> do you not want to do Boom. it? No, I just I just don't right now. I, I All these things are coming into my life so fast right now. And I'm just trying call to me enjoy call it. Call me tomorrow. I'll get you one. Yeah, you but should really? have one. You should go offer one. I, have a, I know the guy. I will call you. I have a big day tomorrow. I'm a, I, <laughs> I, I do. I'm going to the uh, gynecologist. I then I have actors. <laughs> <laughs> Can we send a camera crew to go with her for some Bad Friends content? So to the, the gynecologist? Yeah, thank yeah, you. Yeah. 